Greetings. I'm the man behind the mask, and I'd like to talk to you about hockey. Yes, let's talk about hockey, the show that journeys through the history of the sport of ice hockey from its disputed origins to the game we see today. During the playoffs, the commentary of both hockey analysts and fans at one point or another turns towards the longest game ever played. Detroit and Montreal in 1936, Philadelphia and Pittsburgh in 2000, the list goes on. But with all this talk about the longest games ever, no one ever mentions anything about the shortest game ever. Maybe it's because that all games operate with a standard length of three 20-minute periods for a total of 60 minutes of game time at minimum. That is, unless one of the teams playing decides to forfeit the game before the regulation time has expired. Well, back in the mid-1960s, the Long Island Ducks of the Eastern Hockey League featured the most feared defensive duo in their circuit, John Brophy and Don Perry. Brophy, who played 18 seasons in the Eastern Hockey League and would retire with a league record of nearly 4,000 career penalty minutes, epitomized old-time hockey and brash physical play, and was reported to be the model for Paul Newman's character Reggie Dunlap from the film Slapshot. Similarly, Perry was a tough-as-nails type of player who would amass 550 penalty minutes over five seasons with the Ducks and when you went into a corner while he was on the ice, he made sure you became part of the board's compliments of his hard checking. The intimidation factor that these two possessed when playing side by side was beyond measure. This was never proven more than during a game against the New Haven Blades. The Ducks had just made it through a blizzard on their return from a road trip, and when they finally arrived at their home rink at 11 p.m., it was to find that their home game against New Haven hadn't been cancelled. With little choice, the Ducks then donned their wet equipment and took to the ice. However, on the first shift of the game, Brophy and Perry successfully pulverized a couple of the Blades players. After witnessing the brutal display, the Blades felt that that was enough, leaving the ice for their locker room, putting on their street clothes, and heading home. With only one shift of hockey played, the game had lasted a mere 80 seconds before it was forfeited. Additionally, while the Blades were still in their locker room, Al Barron, the owner of the Ducks, rushed in attempting to plead with the Blades to continue playing, going as far as to offer to pay each player $100 to go back out onto the ice and finish the game. To which, one player responded with, No thanks, Al. Not with those two crazies out there. <laughs> 